Okay, so here we've got a probability tree. So with a probability tree, we've got two events. So this is the first event here with the first branch, and then a second event, which is represented by a second branch. So this is event one, this is event two. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick a marble out of the bag, and then put it back, it says replacing. So we're going to put the marble back, and then we're going to take another second marble from the bag. So this probability tree is going to help us work out the probability of the combined event. So the probability of getting two reds or two yellows or a red and a yellow. So let's start looking at the probability. So the first event, this first first bit here, the probability of getting a red. So there's one, two, three, four, five reds, five reds out of eight in total. So it's five out of eight. Now I'm replacing, I'm replacing the marble. So I've taken that marble out, but then I'm putting it back. So there's still the same amount of marbles in there for the second event. It hasn't changed. So there's still five out of eight reds for the second event. And for the yellows, there's one, two, three out of eight. So it's three out of eight for the second event. But if that didn't happen, if I took a yellow the first time, if I took a yellow the first time, that was a three out of eight chance. But then I've taken it out and I've put it back. So there's still three out of eight yellows and there's still five out of eight reds. So I've replaced them. And so there's the same kind of this is repeated. It's the same branch here as it is here. You'll notice that these two probabilities add up to a whole. So the probabilities of one of these um, branch things, <laughs> the probabilities of these add up to a whole. So 8 out of 8, 8 out of 8, and 8 out of 8. Okay, now let's look at the combined event. So whenever we go across the tree, whenever we go red, then red, so something, then something, we times the probabilities. So the chance of getting red, then red, is 5 out of 8 times 5 out of 8. So 5 times 5 is 25, and 8 times 8 is 64. So the chance of getting red, then red, so red, red, is 25 out of 64. Red, then yellow, is 5 times 3, 15, out of 8 times 8, 64. So red, yellow, chance of getting red, then Yellow is 15 out of 64. Yellow then red, 3 times 5, 15. 8 times 8, 64. So yellow red, yellow red is 15 out of 64. And yellow yellow, 3 times 3 is 9. 8 times 8 is 64. So the chance of getting yellow yellow is 9 out of 64. And you'll notice if you add these ones up now, these ones up, these are everything that could happen. So you can only get red, 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 yellow, yellow, red, or yellow, yellow. There's no, no other chance of anything else happening. So these probabilities have to add up to a whole. So they add up to 64 out of 64. 25 plus 15 is 40, plus another 15 is 55, plus 9 is 64. So they add up to 64 out of 64, because that's everything that could happen. It's a whole. Okay, so this time we're going to change it a bit. We're going to not replace the marble when we take it out. So the chance of me getting a red marble the first time is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 8. Still 5 out of 8. But this time I'm removing the marble. I'm going to put it outside the bag. I've taken it out. So we go along this branch again. There's only one, two, three, four now red marbles out of a total of seven. So four out of seven, and now it's three out of seven yellow. Okay, but if that didn't happen, if it took a yellow the first time, the chance of getting a yellow is one, two, three out of eight. But this time we're taking the marble out of the bag, so the yellow's going. 
So the chance to get another yellow is now only two out of seven marbles in the bag. And the red is now five. There's five reds left out of seven in the bag. So then let's look at the combined events. Red then red. So red then red is five times four, which is 20 over eight times seven, 56. 20 out of 56 for red then red. Red then yellow is five times three, 15 out of eight times seven, 56. So chance of getting a red yellow, red then yellow is 15 out of 56. Yellow then red is three times five, which is 15 out of eight times seven, 56. So yellow red, yellow red, is 15 out of 56 and yellow yellow finally is 3 times 2 6 out of 8 times 7 56 so yellow yellow is 6 out of 56 and again these add up to a whole 20 plus 15 35 plus 15 is 50 plus 6 is 56 56 out of 56 that's everything that could happen okay sometimes they have different events on the branches so andy's going to play tennis and squash the probability between winning at tennis is 0 0.75 so win at tennis is 0 0.75 we can work out loss at tennis chance from losing at tennis because it's got that up to a hole so 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 makes a hole so that's a chance from losing at tennis Chance of winning at squash is 0 0.6. Chance of losing at squash has got to be 0 0.4. So winning at squash is 0 0.6. Losing at squash, 0 0.4. And again, we can work out the combined probabilities by timesing along the branches. So, a bit harder with, the, with decimals. Uh, we could change them to fractions or we could use them, just do them as decimals. So here we've got 0 0.75 times 0 0.6. So we'll work out 75 times 6. So 75 times 2 is 150. And then 150 times 3 is 450. So it's 450. But we've got three numbers after decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 0 0.45. 0 0.75 times 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.75 times 0 0.4. 0 0.75 is actually three quarters, so three quarters of 0 0.4 is a bit easier, but we'll just carry on doing it this way. So, 75 times 4, 75 times 2 is 150, so times 4 is 300. 1, 2, 3 numbers after the dot, three numbers after the decimal place in the question, so three numbers after the decimal place in the answer. 0 0.3, 0 0.25 times 0 0.6, should run out of room, 0 0.25 times 0 0.6, so we're going to do 25 times 6, that's 150, and 1, 2, 3 again, so 0 0.15, and 0 0.25 times 0 0.4, 25 times 4 is 100, and again, 1, 2, 3, numbers after this decimal point, so 0 0.1. There's a good chance you'll be able to use a calculator for that question, but that's how you multiply decimals when you don't have a calculator. So the chance of tennis and squash winning at tennis, so win-win, win-win, at tennis and squash, 0 0.45, win-lose, 0 0.3, lose-win, 0 0.15, and lose-lose, 0 0.1. Sometimes you might get asked, um, what's the probability of him winning one game? So if they ask you probably to winning one game, you have to recognize it could be win-lose or lose-win. So you have to add the two probabilities together. It can be either this or this. So probability of winning one game is 0 0.45. Okay, and something else they can do is they could give you a triple branch, like three different things, three different things that could happen. So 
here I've got red, yellow and blue. We're going to um, not replace, let's not replace. So the chance of getting a red the first time is one, two, three, four out of what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, four out of nine. If I don't replace it, I take the red out. So I've now got three reds out of eight left. I've got three yellows out of eight left and two blues out of eight left. You'll see this still adds up to a whole, even if it's three branches now. Three plus three plus two is eight. So let's get the, go back, put the red one back. Take a yellow one out this time. So chance of getting a yellow is three out of nine. Three out of nine yellows. Take it out. Chance of getting a red now is four out of eight. A yellow is two out of eight, and a blue is two out of eight. Put that one back. Chance of getting a blue the first time, two out of nine. Take it out. So the chance of getting a red now is four out of eight. A yellow, three out of eight, and a blue is one out of eight. Then the combinations work in the same way, so red, red. 4 times 3 is 12, 9 times 8 is 72. And we can work out any combinations by multiplying across. Okay, try this question yourself. So pause the video and give it a go. Okay, so complete the probability tree. So getting a red the first time, we've got 4, 5, 6, 7 reds out of 10 in total. Then we're not replacing, so the red's gone. How many reds are left? Six out of nine. How many yellows are there? Three out of nine. I'm gonna put it back and pretend we got a yellow the first time. So it's three out of 10. And if a yellow's gone, we've got seven out of nine reds and two out of nine yellows. Probability of getting two reds, so red, red, is 7 times 6, which is 42, over 10 times 9, 90, 42 out of 90. And one of each colour, so red, yellow, we've got 21 out of 90, and yellow, red, 21 out of 90. So 21 out of 90 plus 21 out of 90 is 42 out of 90. So that's the chance of getting one of each colour.